Hi, my name is Patrick Blanco. Welcome to another video where I get to explain some pretty cool stuff, um, hopefully to the best of my understanding. Uh, my ample ID is 1529261. The date is 6-27-2022. The time is 2.03 a.m. I am doing Group B, the final uh, project, exam project, Group D, Lecture 13, Questions C and D. Hopefully you can see this clearly. Uh, my Y variable is 64.5. My W variable is 11,612 for C, which is from, like I said, uh, lecture 13. You can see this bad boy right here. But anyway, for C, I'm using the uh, flux formula, which is luminosity over area. So I put 64.5 watts over 0 0.012 meters squared, which gave me 5,375 watts per square meter. And that is my flux. Now for D, I use the luminosity formula, which is four times pi times radius squared times the flux. So I put that in four times pi, which is 3.14 times 11,612 meters squared, which is my radius. And I got 5,375 watts per meter squared for my flux. And after I computed that, I got 7.84 times 10 to the eighth power watts or converted to joules per second, 7.84 times 10 to the eighth power joules per second, which is actually 7.84 times 10 to the eighth power kilograms per meter squared per second, which is a joule per second from my understanding. Uh, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I think I got a couple of things wrong in there. My sources for this are my notes that I took for the lecture. So yeah, I'm going over that and what I did in my study guide, what I felt I did wrong, I kind of corrected. Um, if I am wrong, please remind me and tell me what I did wrong so I know what I'm doing. I, this stuff is really interesting and I really would want to keep doing this. So thank you.